What's going on guys, this is Miasin. So we just got some new cards announced, including a Thunder archetype, which uh, looks pretty interesting. So before this video starts, make sure you like and subscribe, check me out on Twitch and Instagram. And now let's jump right into the first card, Visa Starfrost, level 6 Warrior Tuner. If this card is in your hand, you can target one monster you control with a different type and attribute than this card. Destroy that monster, and if you do special summon this card, different type and attribute. Okay, I mean, whatever. I think all the Visa's monsters are like that. You can only use this effect of Visa Starfrost once per turn. When this card destroys an opponent's monster by battle, you can make this card gain attack equal to the original attack or defense of that monster, whichever is higher your choice of tide. Uh, pretty garbage, actually. I really don't like that. The the only cool thing about those Visa's monsters is the fact that they can destroy baby Cerasaurus, but I, mean, I don't know. I feel like there are already enough ways to do that, so... It's not like you could say that this would be dinosaur support. Anyways, the next card, <laughs> this one's hilarious. All right, Aileron, level one to win machine effect monster, zero attack, zero defense. This card is always treated as a sky striker card. Yeah, I think this was exactly what the deck didn't need. Another card that uh, just doesn't do anything actually, because you might be thinking, oh, well, this could actually be another way to access Hayate Kegari Shizuku. No, uh, like I said, this is treated as a Sky Striker card and not a Sky Striker Ace card. So in other words, you cannot do anything with this card if you normal summon it. Anyways, you can only use either this card's name first or third effect per turn and only once that turn. During the main phase quick effect, you can target one Sky Striker Ace monster you control. So the real ones. Equip this card from your hand or feel to that target. A Sky Striker Ace monster equipped with this card gains 400 attack. Like Nani? Uh, uh, who cares? If this card on the field is destroyed, you can send one Sky Striker spell from your deck to the grave. This is like incredibly garbage considering the fact that you can only use one of the first and third effect per turn and only ones that turn. So if you use the first effect and you like link off your monster, the third effect won't trigger. Like how garbage is that? As a, a monster with like an effect in the hand, it has absolutely no utility. And uh, to make matters worse, actually, th this card uh, does nothing on the field because it's not a Sky Striker Ace monster. Now, now, uh, one thing that I I, I guess I could actually uh, say uh, could be interesting is the fact that it can be equipped back with the Theron's monster, and when uh, this card would be destroyed, then you can foolish for whatever Widow Anchor or something, or the multi rule can get it back, or you don't even have to go like Hayate to like send and uh, whatever. It increases the spell count, but you might as well just play a freaking spell card at this point. <laughs> like, are you really playing a monster that bricks, that really sucks in multiples, that doesn't get anything started? And all it really does is just what Hayate already does. Yeah, absolute ass cheeks. Now let's get right into the next cards. Oh, speaking of the Therion's monsters, Therion's Impress Arasia, Reptile. This is where it gets interesting because this card can easily be searched in King of the Feral Imps. It might actually have some nice energy with the Ogdo, Ogdo Addict, Jesus. Level 8, whatever, you can only use the first and second effect of this card's name once per turn. You can target one Theron's monster or reptile in your grave, of course. Special summon this card from your hand, and if you do equip it uh, with that target, you can discard one card, then target one Theron's monster card in your spell and shop zone specifically, special summon it. It would have been nice if it said like Theron's or like a monster that matches the type of the Theron's monster that is equipped to, but it's not the end of the world. A Theron's monster equipped with this card gains 700 attack and the second of this card's name. Uh, every single Theron monster literally has the first, same, and third effect. So the only thing you're really looking at is always the second effect. It's it's an okay card, but I don't know. Anyways, the next one is Theron's Irregular, Machine Effect Dark, level 10, but it doesn't have uh, the Cyber Dragon stat, so it cannot be revived back with Nextra, unfortunately. Anyway, since it's a level 10, you might actually be able to still play it in Cyber Dragon, because if you can make Mega Fleet with this, you can easily make the uh, big trains and kill your opponent. Anyways, you can only use the first, second, and third effect of this card's name once per turn. You can target up to three, three Theron's Monster in your Grave, Special Summon this card from your hand, and if you do equip it with these targets, absolute garbage uh, to splash in like other decks, because there's no guarantee that you'll even have Theron's monster in your grave. So it's not like it said you can tar target up to three Theron's or machine. So never mind. No synergy with Cyber Dragon. <laughs> you can discard one Perpetual Engine or Gyro System. Jesus. Destroy all cards your opponent controls. This almost looks interesting. But we've gotten to a point where even destroying all cards your opponent controls, unless it's like a quick effect or something that your opponent can't respond to, is just 
garbage. Like, your opponent can still, like, negate this easily. So, when this card is equipped to a monster, you can special summon it, and then equip this card to the monster it was equipped to. Would have been nice if it could actually do it, like, for free, but I, I, it's not the end of the world. And by the way, this one is this monster, and this is the reptile, which makes actually no sense because this actually looks like a machine. So, I'm uh, very confused, and uh, yes. Anyways, let's get into um, the, the real juice of today's video, which is the Splite theme. So... Yes, uh, Sprite. Basically, all we need now would be uh, Pepsi FTK and uh, Coke Turbo. Uh, yes, Cocaine Turbo or Coke Turbo. It, it, whatever you choose. Anyways, uh, the first card is Splite Blue. Level 2 Dark Thunder Effect Monster. A uh, hundred... Uh, yes, 1100. Oh my... my uh, am, am I stupid? Yeah, 1100 attack, 1000 defense. You can only special summon with the first procedure of this card's demons per turn. And you can only use the second effect once per turn. So, in other words, this is an inherent summon. If you control a level or rank 2 monster, you can special summon this card from your hand. And if this card is special summon, you can add one Splite Monster from your deck to your hand, except Splite Blue. Uh, notice that you don't necessarily have to summon it with its first effect in order to trigger the second effect, so it's just like if it's special summoned overall. That's actually pretty interesting. Anyways, the next card is Splite Jet. They're all level 2 Dark Thunder, I guess. This one, you can only special blah blah blah. Okay, same thing. Uh, okay, the first effect is always the same. This one, though, if this card is special summoned, you can add a spell or trap card, Splite, from your deck to your hand. Pretty cool. Alright, the third one. Pixies, if you control uh, if another of your level or rank link to Monster Jesus, this one is also linked to. Quick effect, you can send this card from your hand or field to the grave. Your battling monster gains attack and defense equal to the opponent's monster current attack. <laughs> so it's basically honest. Okay, it's a searchable honest. Not too bad. Splite red. Okay, uh, when your opponent activates a monster quick effect, quick effect, you can target a tribute to one other level rank link to monster. Negate that effect. Then if you tributed a rank slash link to monster. You can destroy that monster, Jesus. You can even negate the hand shafts with this. Very interesting. Okay. All right. Uh, that's actually kind of interesting. So, so far, no monster is necessarily a normal summon. They can all special summon themselves, which is, I guess, more value. Uh, we kind of take those any day of the week. And you don't necessarily have to control a Splite monster to summon them. It's really just a level or link 2 or rank 2 monster. Really appreciate that. Yes, Splite Carrot is a Spell or Trap Negate. So whenever your opponent activates a Spell or Trap card, negate that effect. Effect, by the way, not activation. So uh, pretty good against cards like a Branded Fusion. And you can destroy that card if you tribu attributed a rank or link 2 monster. So yeah, every single card is an extender. And every single card either does something to make you plus... Make your opponent neg by negating their card, or uh, just boost the attack of your monster, which I actually think this is by far the worst card, because, yeah, I don't know, it's a little reactive, and you don't necessarily have to use, like, effects like that to break boards, you can just, like, make big Xyz or big links, whatever. So, yeah, still overall pretty interesting. Now the Xyz monster, Gigantic Splite, rank 2 Dark Thunder Xyz effect monster, 16, 16, two level 2 monsters. Hey, maybe we can play this uh, in Cyber Dragon with Cyber Dragon Core. <laughs> For the cards Xyz, or, or Palazoic. For this card Xyz summon, you can treat link 2 monsters you control as level 2. That's actually freaking sick. You can only use the second effect of this card Zane once per turn. If this card has a fusion, synchro Xyz and or link monster as material, its original attack is doubled. Wow, all right, okay, cool. Yeah, okay, well, 3200 attacks, still not like the best, but still pretty good. During your main phase, you can, I hate what, yeah, this is so annoying to read. You can, neither player can special summon monsters for the rest of the turn. It doesn't even start with the actual effect, it's like the drawback first, and then the effect. Anyways, <laughs> except level rank link to monsters, also detach one material from the Xyz boss. <laughs> and if you do special summon one level two monster from your deck, uh, one material from your Xyz monster, so any of them, huh? Not necessarily this one. Uh, pretty interesting. And summon any level 2 monster from your deck? Holy shit, yo. If this didn't actually lock you under, like, not being able to summon monsters except level rank link 2, this would have been, like, Cyberstein City for days. But, of course, it doesn't work like that because you're locked. Uh, so it kind of sucks a little bit, but it's actually, no, it's, it's actually pretty good. And, uh, no, yeah, I'm a, I'm a big fan. Yes, big fan. And, uh, I assume that you don't have to necessarily detach from yourself. So, that is, uh, very nice. Alright, the next card is Splite Elf. Link to Fire Thunder, blah, blah, blah. Two monsters, including a level slash rank slash Link to monster. Yeah, okay, you can only use the second effect of this card's name once per turn. Alright, this is annoying. Cannot be used as Link material the turn. It is Link Summon, so a little harder to climb into access code, maybe. Your opponent cannot target monsters discards point to with card effects. 
Okay, during the main phase quick effect, you can target one level 2 monster in your grave. Special summon it. If your opponent controls a monster at activation, you can target one rank or link to monster instead. You might actually be able to revive Cyberstein if you get a, if you find a nice way to foolish it easily. So that's actually pretty interesting because this one, unlike the Xyz, doesn't actually lock you at all. So, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, maybe. I don't know why I keep thinking about Cyberstein every time I try to, like, find a way to break level 2. Or Cyber Dragon Core, of course, that's the superior card. Anyways, this might- Oh, this is not the last card, no, never mind. Splite Starter. Hopefully it is a starter. Quickly spell, you can only activate one card with this card's name per turn. You can add special summon monsters for the rest of the turn after this card resolves, except level rank link two monsters. Okay, so for this deck, doesn't necessarily care too much. Also, special summon one Splite Monster from your deck, and if you do, you lose life points equal to its original attack. All the Splite Monsters are weaklings, so you're not really taking too much damage. And what I really like uh, about this card is the fact that it's a quick play, so... <laughs> Holy shit, I'm actually I'm gonna have cancer. Uh, you can use one on your turn and one on your opponent's turn. And you can use this on... Can you use this on draw phase? Or it's like a main phase only card? No, apparently you can use it on draw phase. So uh, you can actually search on draw phase. Play around Valor and roll in Lockbird. Yes, I'm a big fan of this card. Very, very cool. And again, this... Uh, all the searchers that are like Salaman Great Circle-esque cards are always infinitely better than like Reinforcement of the Army cards that obviously lose to like the other stuff uh, that I just mentioned. So yeah. Anyways, Gamma Burst, quickly spell. Again, quickly... A lot of quickly spells. You only use the one of the first and second effect that this card's game per turn, and only once that turn. So the first effect is all level or rank or link to monster you control currently gain uh, on the field currently gain 1400 attack and defense until the end of the turn all right during your main phase you can banish this card from your grave then target only one of them it gains a 1400 attack until the end of your opponent's turn yeah i mean are you really going to use one card to do that or just, i don't know i mean the fact that all of them gain 1400 attack or defense makes it so it becomes infinitely easier to kill your opponent because they they're weaklings sure but if you have like three of them and they all gain like 1400 attack, it's gonna be a lot of damage very fast. So you can actually OTK your opponent with like three splite monsters in this card, but it's still like a little bit of setup. But actually, I think this there's already a two card uh, OTK that I can think of. That would be splite starter and any splite monster. So you go this splite starter, summon the splite blue from your deck, which searches you the splite jet, and then you special summon it. Search the splite uh, gamma, and then you're going to special summon your third splite monster. And then you go battle phase, attack, and then use Gamma Burst. All your monsters gain 1400 attack and defense. So it's 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 basically going to kill your opponent, which is uh which is all right. Uh, except if they're way too weak for that. 11, 13, so what? 27. Okay, you need 27 multiplied by three to kill your opponent. So as long as the average is like 13, uh, y you're fine. So this with this means that you need a monster with 1500 attack. So uh, never mind. <laughs> this is maybe. Not OTK uh, already, but still, whatever, I'll take it, all right? Okay. Anyways, the final card is Splite Smashers. Oh, this is actually a Splite card. Anyways, you can only activate one card with this card's name once per turn. Banish one Spriggans, Therions, or Splite card from your hand or graveyard to activate one of these effects. So either Special Summon one Spriggan monster from your deck, Special Summon one Therions monster from your grave, Banish one level rank link to monster you control, and one card your opponent controls. That is a little too hefty of a cost or activation requirement if you just want to banish one card your opponent controls. I understand that it banishes and it doesn't target, but like you have to banish one monster on your field and one from your grave, bruh. And also, really can't say that there's synergy with this deck and Spriggins or Therions because there's no Therions Thunder monster. So this is basically pointless right now. And the Spriggins, they only synergize with like Time Thief or like, I don't know, other rank four strategy cards, but definitely not this from what I can see. And uh, by the way, I don't know if this means that Thunder Dragon Colossus will never come back. Uh, maybe because they're all Thunder monsters. So I don't know, but they don't they don't really have a, an effect in the hand outside of uh, in the third one. So the, you can send this card from your hand to the grave. Yeah, this one's like the only one that has an in-hand effect. So that's about it. But yeah, whatever. I don't think it's going to be like super broken with uh, Colossus anyways. Even if it comes back, you let me know your thoughts on this archetype and the other cards in the comment section below. And most importantly, let me know if you think that Colossus will never come back. Now, we, now, that, now, that, now that we have a Thunder archetype that actually doesn't suck too much. So thank you very much for watching this video. Don't, like, don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll see you guys very soon. Peace.